Well, everybody, Spectacular, Silver Stacular, with a question for you. Are the banks trying to shut down your coin shops, your bullion shops? Are they really trying to shut it down? There's been several people talking about this lately, and I believe that the truth is somewhere in the middle of all the mess and all the confusion. You know, that seems to be a big headline, right? Banks shutting down the coin shop. And then everybody goes, oh my gosh, here it comes. The big one, you know, the one we've all been waiting for. Big Brother is at us again. Well, you know, in my experience, and I'm just going to tell you things that have happened to me. Um, you know, I have a website, spectacular.com. Don't even click there. It's not about that in this video. It is about the situation that happened on that website. Um, the website um, host, I guess you could say, GoDaddy, they actually, when I first set up the account, they had um, GoDaddy payments, right? Where I could accept payments from people and GoDaddy basically handles it almost like as if GoDaddy was PayPal. Let's use it, try to make sense of it that way. GoDaddy was basically PayPal. And um, after one or two uh, payments came through, GoDaddy sh shut me down. And I've never said it to anybody. I've never told anybody that. GoDaddy said, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that anymore. Um, it goes against our, our policy. The type of things you're selling goes against our, our regular policy. And I'm thinking like, what in the world? But they're like, no problem. You can use PayPal. So I didn't think anything more of it. No big deal. Um, and then, you know, I hear very recently, my local coin dealer, coin guy, you guys remember him, he actually had a situation with PayPal shutting him down temporarily. And that was because he ended up getting a lot of funds very quickly, meeting a threshold that PayPal has that, you know, it's kind of in the fine print. Um, and all that had to happen was he had to up that threshold and then things were okay. Um, also, another story I've never really talked about. I went to a local coin shop and uh, I was like, hey, you know, I'd like to go ahead and buy from you. And he goes, I'm going to need your license. And I go, what? No, I'm paying cash. You don't understand I'm paying cash. And uh, he goes, doesn't matter. I got to have your license. And I go, hold on a minute. Why? Why do you have to have my license? And he goes, because I really don't know who you are. You could be laundering money. This could be some kind of scheme that you have right now. So um, I have to be able to make sure that you're legit. You're not into some crimes, blah, blah, blah. So I think in the grand scheme of things that some of these places really don't know like and i don't mean like the bullion shops and the coin shops i mean like the institutions that lend money that you know deal with money that accept money put it into your account etc really don't know what it is that some of these coin shops are doing and over the last few years what has happened to the coin industry the bullion industry silver and gold metals in general they've been going up right they've been very important in our lives because of what's been going on outside. And so I think that that right there is your answer, that all this influx and this craziness that's been going on has caused the interest of the industry to just really be have an eye kept on them. We'll say that. So don't think that banks are just shutting down coin dealers for no reason. I think that it's a robot in disguise. There is more than meets the eye going on right there. Um, but we'll talk about that more in just one second. Before I go on, I do want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, FE Battery Metals Corp. Um, no stock, ticker symbol, F-E-M-F-F in the OTC markets. If you want to look them up, I'll have information down below the video for their website and also that stock ticker symbol, F-E-M-F-F, -F, in case you want to check them out. Do your own research. I always recommend that because I'm not a financial advisor, but I uh, definitely want to you know, give a big shout out to FE Battery Metals Corp for going ahead and sponsoring the video so that I can talk to you about them. So why are they a big deal? First, I want to go ahead and talk to you about their um, about me right here, just so I can kind of give you a, a little roundabout of what they're all about. So it says FE Battery Metals Corp is focused on identifying, exploring, and advancing early stage lithium pegmatite projects in Canada. The company's primary efforts have been on exploration projects located in Quebec, with its flagship property being the Augustus Lithium property. Augustus is located in the immediate vicinity of Val d'Or, Quebec, where several historical prospects and a previously active lithium mine is located within a 10-kilometer radius from the property. 
North American Lithium Mine, or NAL, and the Authier Project are two notable projects in the area that highlight the potential of the Augustus Lithium property. FE Battery Metals' current land holdings amount to over 60,000 acres in Quebec, along with other exploration projects located throughout North America. So the big boy flagship is in Canada for FE Battery Metals Corp, but they are just like us when it comes to diversifying, and they got a little bit here and a little bit there. But that Augustus Lithium property is really interesting to me, and I think that you're going to like this too. Uh, first of all, like what is lithium all about? Let's just take a quick little break on that. Uh, when I look right here, and this is a quick little, you know, how much um, do we need, you know, lithium wise for the world, uh, Google that I was able to find a couple little tidbits of information and you can do that same thing. Uh, one from PBS says the uh, U.S. seeks new lithium sources as demand for clean energy grows. So the U.S. only has like one lithium mine. I think right here it says um, the U.S. is home to just one active lithium mine in Nevada. How terrible is that? It, you know, as the United States, once again, we got to go get our stuff from somewhere else because we can't do it here at home which I think is a big problem, but that's a story for another time. Um, worldwide demand for lithium was about 350,000 tons in 2020. Now, here we go in 2023. And I think that if you're like me and you're in a kind of decent sized city, you've probably seen gas stations start to get um, uh, charging stations. Uh, some of my local grocery stores have charging stations. Some of the parks around me have charging stations. It's slowly coming. It's it's just it's gonna it's gonna leap. It's gonna, actually it's gonna creep, and then it's going to leap. Is what it's going to do. It's gonna end up scaring you all. Uh, how fast the need for lithium ends up growing, and by the time it just you know blows up on us, it may be just too late to really get into some of these really really good investments you can get in early on. And uh, real quick too, lithium producers warn global supplies may not meet electric vehicle demand. Um, you know, based on the amount of mines that exist out there and, uh, you know, this slowness of everything, I think that that could be uh, correct. And so we're going to need more and more lithium which is probably going to end up driving the price up, which is going to make two things happen. It's going to make more companies want to mine lithium, and it's going to make the companies that are already involved in lithium explode, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, back to FE Battery Metals Corp. We got the Augustus Lithium property, which is over in the uh, North American Lithium Mine in Canada. And I do want to go ahead and talk a little bit about that and why it's so interesting. So what I like about this project is it's actually close. Um, and you can see right here, there are several historic and currently active lithium and molybdenum projects slash mines located approximately three kilometers to 20 kilometers from this property that is owned by FE Battery Metals Corp. So why is that interesting? Because some of the big boys have spent a lot of money, right? mining in this area, researching, already developing, um, trying to get this lithium out of these this well-known property. And here comes FE Battery Metals Corp, just kind of limping in, right? Buying a bunch of property around there. What does it say, 60,000 acres, something crazy like that, um, you know, of property to try to, to limp in there and just say, hey, you know, we're here. How's it going? And uh, they're going to, you know, explore the area and uh, discover some lithium, hopefully, in the in the areas. And what's going to happen is when uh, these big companies that have come in here, and they've already found the lithium, that already knows know that it exists in there, um, and they've already said that you know it's you know over a billion dollars worth of lithium in their property. Um, over the next you know however many years, they can just start mining this stuff and go crazy. Uh, you know, like they're going to see this company right here. They're going to see FE Battery Metals with a um, large amount of property right next to theirs. And they're going to go, man, uh, we're either a, we're tapped out over here in our property, or we're doing so well in the lithium game. We got to buy you guys out. And that is a very real possibility for what could come with FE battery metals is that opportunity that you can, you know, so, well, let me, let me go, let me show you, let me, let me show you their stock price real quick, just to show you the, the information. 
because it's better to get to the information out there than just tell you about it, right? So here is their stock. And let's go to the, the max available, which goes to um, around the 2019. 2019, I see a price of around 15 to 16 cents. And you can look at this again on their website. This is all going to be available for you down below in the description. But 15 to 16 cents starting out, you know, a new company, no big deal, 2019, just a few years ago. And then look at all this activity here recently as more and more talk is out there about lithium. You can see a 45 cents, right? And again, they're still in the exploration stage, right? But they just, they have the bells and whistles because they have the property where they need to have it. And they're in a great position right now to show off what they have to the big boys next door that makes them want FE battery metals wants what they have. And I believe that if that starts occurring, this 45 cents is gonna be a real good opportunity, a real good opportunity. Lithium is one of those um, metals too, that investors of precious metals that are into the silver and the gold, um, often uranium is another metal they're interested in. Lithium has been a really hot one for precious metals investors right now too. Um, although lithium is not a precious metal, it is precious in the fact that we're going to need it every single day in our future. Um, and we can see it. We can see a trickling effect, that creeping effect that's happening right now and when it comes to that leaping effect, it's going to be a situation where you're not going to find companies at 45 cents. You know, imagine if you came in over here at the 15 cents when you were just a speculator and you're like, oh, there's no way that company could do anything. And then all of a sudden it has some moments right here where it jumps to 61 cents, I think 80 cents at one point. And then it is you know, around the 45 cents in just a couple of years. What a great opportunity to double, triple your money, you know, quadruple your money in some cases. And who knows what's going on in the future for a company like that. We've only talked about one of their projects. You know, here's more right here. You can go to their website, their Ontario projects right here, properties, and you can find more that they're involved in. Um, and uh, just look at this. Go to their website and check out and do a little research. And while you're at it, look at like companies that are in the area and look how uh, much money those companies have spent, you know, investigating the area and getting ready to drill the areas. And then look at FE Battery Metals, who just came in there and bought property and is just sitting on it, just saying, hey, we're here. How's it going? You know, do, do you like what we're doing over here with our, our nice investment in the property right next door to you? How are you? <laughs> I think it's actually pretty fun and pretty interesting. Um, they also have a little secret weapon right here. I'm going to show you that. You can go to their corporate and you can go to their directors and management section. And you can see that uh, one of their uh, their geologists right here, uh, Craig Alford, uh, he's like world renowned for what he's done in uh, geology. And he's kind of a secret weapon with his uh, master's of science and geology and uh, 30 years plus experience worldwide uh, in the field and stuff. I mean, this is going to be a guy that if there's lithium to be found, this this guy right here, Alfred, Mr. Alfred, is going to be the one that uh, really, really helps out and finds this, you know, little gem in the ground for this company. So not that, you know, the rest of their uh, team doesn't have, you know, here's 18 years of experience and 15 years of experience. Not that they're, you know, nobodies, but this is a secret weapon right here. This is a secret weapon for this company that other companies aren't... Uh, aren't involved in so anyways fe battery metals um i would highly recommend just you know taking a look at it it's not gonna to hurt you to do your own research and investigate for yourself i mean again i'm gonna put the website for fe battery metals corp down in the uh, description of the video um and also their stock ticker symbol should be all over the screen and also will be down below for your convenience the femff right there in the otc markets um, OTC, you know, a little bit more of a challenge to, to get involved in if you are in some uh, stock exchanges, but, you know, I'm sure that you can find a, a company out there that will let you go ahead and grab a hold if need be, but uh, definitely check them out and, uh, you know, little one cent downturn in the market right here might be a good time to, to jump in, but do your own research, of course, as I always recommend, and, uh, see what's out there for you in the old FE battery metals uh, situation there because 
Um, I'm, I'm very interested in what lithium does in the future. I see it. I see the creeping and I'm excited for the leaping and I know it's coming. Um, there's been many things in our life that have, if you can think back of things that you're like, oh, that'll never go anywhere. And you can see it creeping in. You can remember it for yourself. You, you know these things. You can see it creeping in. And then one day, just boom, it takes off. And you're like, oh, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Think of all the companies out there that you coulda, shoulda, woulda on. Is this one of them? I don't know. The future is going to be bright, I think. But you got to find out for yourself. But, uh, you know, anyways, back to the point of this video is that I think that a lot of companies out there um, that deal in precious metals, they're looked at. They're looked at closely by these, um, you know, uh, lending organizations, the people that deal with their money. Um, and they're looked at by government, you know, right now, because it's dealing with something that is, sometimes it can't be traceable, right? I mean, like if you buy physical precious metals and you store it somewhere, Who's going to trace it? How can you trace that stuff, you know, based off of a purchase, especially if you use cash? So I think a lot of those places that are that are cash oriented, um, you might start seeing that stuff kind of go away. And it's not because the banks want to shut them down because of what they are. It's because of that fact of being untraceable. And uh, they don't care if it's silver and gold, per se. And that's not that's kind of my point right here. They don't care that it's silver and gold. They care that it's something that can't be tracked you know so it could be anything that can't be tracked it's just paying with cash i think the cash is one of those things that uh let's be honest i think eventually cash is going to go away and it's all going to be digital stuff so if you're holding on to physical assets that you can trade and barter with um, i think that you're going to be in a position that um, not a lot of people are going to be able to share that position with you i think that you're going to be kind of ahead of the game and so you know, that's my point. And of course, I, you know, use this video too to show off some of my new uh, little things I've acquired here, silver and gold wise. These are pretty cool little pieces, I think. So let's do a little bit of that. Dead men tell no tales. I got a few of these right here because they were, man, they were on sale. These come from the Mason Mint. I've seen these before and they were actually toned up real nice, but uh, these are the shiny version. I can tone these myself. That's no problem. Here's some of these really cool dragon bars, right? 2023 Australian dragon bars. So those are actually really pretty. The year of the dragon is upon us. So from the Perth Mint, pretty good price on those. I'd like to take one out just real quick. Hold it from the side a little bit. There we go. Pretty cool pieces, huh? Pretty nice. Those would look really good toned up. That might be something I'll do just for funsies. Although, hey, it is a coin, right? Is this a coin? Let's see. Um, One dollar. Yep. So people are going to be on to me. They're like, oh, you're toning a coin. Well, I can tone these ones. These are the little uh, Unity bars that I went ahead and got a hold of. These are great. For bars, I mean, this is a great looking piece. So... Just some pieces I was acquiring while I'm still allowed to, you know, while my bank still says I'm allowed to take money out and buy anything I want uh, because they're not uh, brought down by the uh, United States government yet. Well, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, as always, no matter if it's silver, gold, precious metals, whatever, you, you see me throw these things up on screen, do your own research. If I talk about a stock, you know, that's out there, do your own research. Don't rely on the person on screen, no matter who you happen to be watching. Uh, do it for yourself. And that way, if you make a, a right decision or a wrong decision, it's going to be based off of what you did, what you learned, and what you didn't learn. But uh, there's a lot of stuff out there, and there's going to be more in the future as far as opportunities. So make sure you know how to look for things. I mean, shoot, all the information you really ever need is right there on the internet on Google. That's where you need to be looking. But I got to go for now. Appreciate you for watching this. Spectacular is out.